Okay, oh wait, oh, this is in the way, hold on. Oh, wait. No, it wasn't in the way, it was the whole way down here. Oh, it was in the way. Hi, it's Thursday, you watch a Thirsty Thursday, a show where it's Thursday, and we get fucked. We drink very responsibly. <laughs> Welcome to my new bar. This countertop finally came in, which means we got ourselves a bar and a kitchen on our hands. I have a different personality. Where'd this come from? We don't know. It's a new kitchen. It's a new lifestyle. They wash the dishes? Oh, shit. It, wait, I really actually thought I cleaned this kitchen beforehand. Ha! <laughs> it's a lifestyle. Anyway, so today, I thought for the first Thirsty Thursday in the new casa, we would do a spiked root beer float competition. <laughs> huh? Originally, I wanted to do a just a regular spiked root beer, but then I realized there are so many different ways you can spike a root beer. A competition must be had, so bear with me. <laughs> This is serious, this is a serious competition. So I will be creating three different types of spiked root beer floats and we will see which one tastes better. Let's make these drinks! To kick off this competition, I'd like to introduce the competitors for today's tournament. Is it a tournament? I don't care. First competitor is our good friend Vodka. Hello! Say hi to the crowd. We love you and you know it. It's not fair. Just number two, we got vanilla vodka. <laughs> kind of like regular vodka, but better. We're reserving judgment. Reserving judgment for this competition. Competitor number three is our good friend Kalua. Or coffee liqueur. Generic coffee liqueur, if you, if you don't mind. Or Kalua. Kalua, however, only has 20% alcohol by volume. So she is bringing in her husband, Jameson. Hello, Jameson. Contestant number four. I mean, co competitor. I don't know. It's a competition. Also competing today are three different types of ice cream. We have plain vanilla ice cream. Just because it's plain doesn't mean it's not the best. Someone said that somewhere. Probably someone very plain. Ice cream contestant number two, we have cinnamon toast ice cream. This is a homemade ice cream that was made on Tasty Tuesday and won a runner up award. Welcome, welcome to the show. And lastly, representing the ice creams, we have hazelnut whiskey ice cream. Also homemade ice cream that you do not need an ice cream maker for. We also made on Tasty Tuesday and in Steve's eyes was the winner. I mean, I don't know, go, go watch that video. All right, are we ready to start the competition? Wow, crowd's going wild over here. I can't hold it back any longer. Let the games begin. Oh, you're all cut off. Yep. I had to bring a second judge in just because this is a fierce competition and I don't want to be biased. Today, we have a spiked root beer float competition okay. and I need your utmost focus and attention. Okay. We have some strong competitors here today. For our first spiked root beer float, we are going to use all reliable regular vodka. One by five ounces, come on! Okay, sorry. No ice? Nope. I'm just making this really chill so we have fair competition. Going. Cold. 2.5 ounces of root beer. Yeah. In. We're gonna give it a real good stir. Real good stir. Serious, serious it's science competition. Science object. It's not. Hey, don't make it fizzy! Oh, well you said really good stir. No, but a good, I mean a decent stir. Okay, that was a good stir. Okay, that was a pretty good stir. So how I like to make my root beer floats is, I like to do it parfait style. So layer of root beer, layer of ice cream, layer of root beer, layer of ice cream. Okay, so now to our, root, our spiked root beer. Okay. I'm gonna add one scoop of plain vanilla ice cream. How do you feel about Plain vanilla ice cream. I like it. This is not plain vanilla ice cream, it's coconut ice cream. Next, we're gonna pour another layer of root beer. Just pour it. Yeah, another layer of ice cream. You'll just dunk everything in there, like that's what I do. Yeah, and I don't like anything you make. <laughs> that's true. Look at how much beautifuler that is. Now a layer of root beer. Perfect. Here we go. Contestant number one, plain vodka, plain vanilla ice cream root beer flow. Call it the Steve Green drink. Uh, because uh, it's so plain. Yeah. Judge's first tasting. This is important, everybody. It's an important I step. Want some competition. You want what? I want vodka. I don't need that. Okay. Get to the bottom. Yeah, yeah dude. Damn. Yeah? It is good? Yeah, that's good. That tastes just like a root beer float. Yeah, it's like the identical. There's no difference whatsoever. The plain vodka just absorbs 
all the flavor. All right, we're gonna hold this in the freezer for the end final competition. Remember that flavor. For our second spiked root beer float, we are gonna take it up a notch, make it a little bit more fancy. Oh. Are you prepared for this? I'm ready to get fancy. You wanna talk shit about the last competitor? No. Okay. Oh, you like? Good. Oh, you like the competitor? Okay. Yeah. But I'm worried that you're gonna do coffee ones on this one. Well, why don't you try to not anticipate what's gonna happen? Okay. Cause, Cause I don't like coffee that much. Well, you wrong. We ain't gonna do any coffee. Oh, okay, cool. For this spiked reaper float, we will be using absolute vanilla. 1.5 ounces, yeah. Kind of like it's cousin regular vodka, but more vanilla. And also to this, we will add two ounces of root beer. Boom. All right, give it a good stir. Okay. Just like before. Very subtle changes, very subtle differences for now. Okay, stop. Perfect amount of stirring. To fancy this one up a little bit more, we're gonna be using this cinnamon toast ice cream instead oh. of vanilla. This cinnamon toast ice cream was made on a Tasty Tuesday episode, homemade. Go watch that video if you would like to make this. I love this ice cream, so I'm trying not to be biased. Hey, this is a serious competition. It's so fucking messy, I love it, it's funny. <laughs> serious competition okay, right sorry. now. Two scoops of our cinnamon toast ice cream. Oh, oh yes, this getting fancy. Then, a layer of root beer. Yeah, of course, now then, a layer of ice cream. A layer, what, how do you, th you think you know things? And now a layer of root beer, yeah. And now a layer of root beer. We'll top it off with a little scoop of ice cream. How about that? How about that? Unbelievable. Based on looks, I like the way that the uh, the plain vanilla uh, showed through a little bit more. There's a lot more contrast going on. It's not about looks. You know, no. this isn't a beauty competition. No, it's not. This is a, a, this a, root a root goddamn root, root beer float cream. spiked competition. Very serious. Taster. Okay, first I do a bite, then I do a drink. That's your official method? That's what the official method is, according to the regulation. Official bite. Go on. Very interesting. Oh, that's a different response. You're really serious. Hmm. Just a hmm? No, I'm trying to be like a judge person now. Oh, okay. But why weren't you a judge person on the last competitor? Well, I didn't realize how serious it was. Mmm. Ooh. Oh. Mmm. Maybe quick. Did that change no, your it opinion? Wasn't that. <laughs> I just used it to sneak free kisses from my wife. Your ear is such a sneak. <laughs> I sneak free kisses from her. What a scammer. I got scams. <laughs> Hell yeah. I got scams. I'm out of here. That's really, really good. Ooh, this is very, very delightful. Yeah, it's nice. I think if the root beer was colder, it would be even better. For sure. We it's, it's it's richer than the last one. Yes. And it, but it's good. The first thing you should do before starting your competitions at home is make sure your ripper is cold. Because I feel like that would make a hell of a difference. I agree. Root beer tastes so much better cold. It's great. It's good though. It's actually really bomb. Yeah, it's really good. It's very cinnamony. It reminds yes. me of like a like a cake, like a like a monkey bread cake, like a Christmas cake. Like a cinnamon roll. Yeah, like a cinnamon roll on Christmas morning. Can it be Christmas? So when you like, it reminds me of a cake. What kind of cake is it? <laughs> it's like a cinnamon roll. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh wait. Oh, this is in the way. Hold on. Oh wait. No, it wasn't in the way. It was all the way down here. Oh, oh, you're in the way. Oh, this is in the way. Mm. That was not in the way. That was in my way. Are you ready for our third and final competitor of the night? Yeah. We're gonna do an ounce of Jameson. Oh. Instead of an ounce and a half, we're just doing an ounce. Going in. Boom. And to oh. fancy it up in this third one, we have a second liqueur. Mm. Liqueur. I hardly know her. Nice, I like that. Thank you. We're gonna add a half an ounce of Kahlua. Love Kahlua. Are you just gonna oh, pour it right was, in there? Yeah. Damn. Because if it smells good, I just want it. Okay, so what <laughs> Half an ounce. Half ounce. Thought half you didn't ounce. like coffee. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, I uh Change I might your mind be a little also. Bit of a I just love the smell of coffee, man. But I also really like Kahlua. Okay, okay. half an ounce. Half Boom. An ounce. It already looks like root beer. Wow. Two and a half ounces of root beer. Two and a half ounces of root beer going in. To our glass. Mm. And for this competitor is ice cream, we are going to really fancy it fancy it up. We have a Hazelnut whiskey ice cream. What? This one is fancy because it also has Jameson in the ice cream. That's tight. Wow. We have never seen this Whoa. at a spiked root beer competition before. Two scoops of our ice cream in there. We need a layer of root beer, Love an it. official layer. Yeah. Now, a layer of ice cream. It's the official way to do things. If you're doing it any other way, you're wrong. A layer of root beer. And then your last layer of ice cream. Mm -hmm. This is a small ice cream scoop, okay? Wow. Competitor number three, looking freaking snazzy. Let me just show you these layers. I think by far the best looking one, but yeah, again, it's I not like a- amber. Yes, again, it's not a beauty competition though. 
It's a motherfucking spiked root beer float competition. Are you getting serious? Are you getting serious? I'm, I'm trying to be. Everybody needs to get real serious right now. Okay. I'll wait. All right. I think it's, I think the room is quite serious. Judge, competitor number three. I'm sorry because it's my favorite ice cream and all the ice cream. Oh wow. We didn't do a good stir with the bottom. No, we did not do a Shit. stir at all. We might have done this wrong. Gotta go in there. Make this right. <laughs> wow. That's good. Yeah? It tastes like an aged root beer float, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just seen some shit. Yeah. Dang. Ooh, that's good. good. Bringing some fierce competition to this competition. Yeah. I think I like this one the best. It's really good. You can definitely feel like it's spiked. It's got a good taste though. It's not yeah, like it's a, got a really good it's taste. It's not like an alcoholic taste. No, no, no. You know all those fancy ice cream places where they try to make it yes, taste exactly. like alcohol and yeah. stuff? It's like that. It doesn't have that, that of alcohol. Yeah, I agree. Oh. Okay, let's bring our other competitors out here. You remember competitor number one? I got number two. And competitor number two. Of course. What I liked about competitor number one is it was easy to drink. It didn't taste like alcohol at all. It didn't taste like we added anything to the root beer or the ice cream. It just tasted like root beer and ice cream. I liked it. It was a shorter commute between my mouth and my stomach. Mm -hmm. And I felt like it was an uncomplex taste. I felt uh, like it was a an, an, a nostalgic taste. An too. iconic taste. Yes, well. yes. Competitor number two. What I really liked about you is that you brought a different flavor, a flavor of, of Christmas, a flavor of a cake that with cinnamon on it. So what would that kind of cake with that sort of be? Cake. Monkey bread, I guess. Yeah. You know what it tastes like to me is when you have cinnamon toast crunch and you drink the milk. Yes, that is what it tastes like. Tastes exactly like that. But what I think is even richer was competitor number three. Brought the richness, yeah. brought the noise. But the richness is more covered up by the taste. Like you feel like you're in a lounge drinking yes. something fancy. I feel like there's a night, a big moose head behind me. Yes. Yeah, I like that one the best. Only because, look, we all know what a classic, you know, root beer float tastes like, mm -hmm. right? Like we all know what cinnamon coast crunch like milk tastes like. Cinnamon coast crunch? Cinnamon coast crunch ta tastes like milk. It's the crunch on the coast. But this is a different taste. It's just new and cool and different and like now and very like in. And I feel like like in 10 years from now, this will be the land taste and some new taste will be Right now, this is the cool hot taste that everyone gotta get some. Wow, it's a tough one for me. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to go with number one. I just like the nostalgia. I like the, the taste of summer. It tastes like summer to me. Tastes like, you know, you're a kid, you're making Rupert floats in the summertime. The grass, the sprinklers are on, it, the fireworks are going. America. Too easy. Well, thank you so much, competitors, for playing today. I know you all gave it your heart and soul. Um, but now you have to go in the sink now. You do have to go in the sink. You gotta go. Time you gotta go. It's time to go. Shit now. <laughs> to go. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, let us know if you make any of them. We'd love to know your thoughts. Also, watch the ice cream episode that we made the ice creams on and you can make exactly these root beer floats. It's a great episode. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this and I'll see you next time. Look at you. I'm filled with root beer.